it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today for another of my mini Valentine's Day series. And today I have got a little sweetie box for you. I'll be using the Heartfelt stamp set and I will also be using the From My Heart suite, which is gorgeous. It is right at the beginning of the catalogue. There we go. So it's on pages eight, nine, and 10 of the new January to June mini catalog. So yeah, fantastic stuff. Uh, the paper is amazing. It's foiled in red and flirty, sorry, real red and flirty flamingo and is gorgeous. Uh, not all the sheets are foiled, but a lot of them are and it really is amazing. Um, you can get a bundle with two punches a straight and a scallop punch and the stamp set that I'll be using for just £43. Spend another £2 and you get a free celebration item. Um, I will be using the Real Red Ribbon, the Heartfelt Foil Tins, the Heart Doilies and the From My Heart Faceted Gems, otherwise known as I'm using it all because it's gorgeous. Um, the stamp set is here and you can see these are the stamps that uh, match up with the Heart, pack, heart Punch Pack, and they are gorgeous. So here we go. Um, this is obviously using one of the tins. They come beautifully packaged, I mean really robustly packaged. You get 10, so 10 tops, 10 bottoms. They are food safe. I believe that people have even tried making cupcakes in them, and they've worked. I have not tried personally, but that is what I've heard. Uh, and they are just so pretty. So I need one. Um, let me show you what I have done. So basically the, the, tin, the tin is as per the tin. Then I've run the, the ribbon round and when you open it up inside, and anyone who knows me knows they're not for me, uh, there are some of these lovely heart um, chocolates which are apparently they're melt my heart um, and they are Milk chocolate hearts with a soft milk chocolate flavoured centre. I'm not going to read the rest of the ingredients because I don't think I want to know. Anyway, I got them from my local pound store of all places. So yeah, and I thought they were rather, they were rather striking. So I got a, I got a bag, um, and the ribbon runs over the top. Uh, it is attached to the bottom, and then I've got a tag that is the stamped element is attached to this flirty flamingo which although it looks shiny I don't know if I can get it to look shiny in the light yes I think I can um, although it looks shiny it's actually just ordinary flirty flamingo cardstock and I'll show you what I've done with it and then I've got a plain white uh, heart as well and I've not stuck those together so you could you could hide your message so no one can see it which I thought was rather sweet. And I've used some of the little faceted gems on the top, which are gorgeous. So let me show you. A lot of it is really, really, really easy. And some of it is less easy. Um, none of it is hard. So I've used one of the doilies. I might change it up and use one of the pink ones. Oh, and I just realised something. Oh, I need a piece of paper and I haven't got the other piece of paper. Bear with me. Ah, me again. There we go. Always helps if you have the paper that you need. So I'm going to use the flirty flamingo one this time. And with the scalloped punch, I'm going to punch out one of the um, real red. Sorry, my light's decided it's going to shut. Uh, I'm going to punch out one of the real red hearts. So I'm just going to separate that off because I need to come in from the bottom. You can uh, put them through your trimmer and just trim them off so that they're all um, separate, which works quite well. So you can have a whole row and just punch them out. Um, but I've only got one that I need punching. So that's that. Then I need my straight heart for this paper. And punch that. And, oops, knock everything over. Then I need some dimensionals and on the back of the 
um, doily, I'm going to have a double layer and I'm going to have them at either side because the ribbon needs to run between and I worked out that if you do a double layer there is actually it's actually about the right height for the dent that is in the uh, the lid so there is this dent which is just the right size as you would expect for the doilies then this needs one dimensional and I can attach that on top of here and then this needs one dimensional and that goes on top of the previous one Oops. it's actually easier to do it when they're attached to the tin so why pray am I trying to do them not attached to the tin because that's just the way I roll okay so the tin um, let us drop some more hearts in so one packet gets lots of hearts um, not that I care particularly because as I say those who know me know that it is of no interest to me at all that they are um, fitting because I can't eat chocolate right so I know it's it's crazy but apparently it's a thing uh, it's not just me it is an actual thing now that I now that I admit that I can't eat chocolate, the number of people that say, oh, I can't eat it either, uh, is phenomenal. Right, so I need glue dots, top, uh, front and back. So, just wanted to get roughly the right amount of ribbon. So one there, and one there. And they're very easy just to twist off. And then, that should be about enough. Attach that. Now this is probably the hardest thing about making this box, or making this treat, you know, decorating the box, and that is tying the ribbon in a nice bow. Uh, I was going bananas with it, and I'm this 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 could take a while. Just saying, got far too much ribbon, um, but there we go. I'd rather get it done and know I've got it done than worry about having too much ribbon, I think. Um, just make that a nice, a nice bow-ish. Okay, well, I might retie that for the um, photographs because um, it's not the best tied ribbon, but you get the idea for the manufacture. And then if we peel these off they pop over the top of the ribbon and as I say the doily fits really nicely into that dent yes I'm definitely going to have to retie that ribbon it is really annoying me okay so I've got a white scallop heart and a flirty flamingo scallop heart I need to stamp the happy valentine's day using real red ink it will stain your your stamp uh, the new stamp cleaner will address that, although you do then need to make sure you clean it. Um, once you've used the cleaner, you need to wash your stamps very quickly because they, um, the cleaner is, should we say, not the nicest thing for your, for your stamps, particularly the photopolymer. But if you wash it quickly, then it'll be fine. Cleaning it with your chamois as quickly as you can is also a really good idea because that will help reduce the staining. Now I'm going to just blast that very quickly with my heat gun because I need it to be dry. Okay, so, yep, that's dry. I will need my trusty cheese board in a moment. Um, lots of embossing buddy just in case it's not actually dry. And I've got the dotty heart um, mounted up and that I'm going to ink up with Versamark and this is okay it's not the easiest thing to see through if you're worried you could use your uh, Stamparatus I'm concentrating if you could see me you would see that my tongue is out while I'm concentrating 
Okay, uh, silver embossing powder. And I've chosen silver because the tin has got silver, no other reason. And yeah, I didn't do a brilliant job, so Stamparatus is probably the way to go. But it's, you know, the pressure of the video and all that good stuff. Let's put the lid on without dropping it. Heat up my heat gun properly. Now do remember, as I mentioned earlier, for every £45 you spend, you can choose something from the Celebration brochure, which is gorgeous. And also do remember to subscribe if you don't already subscribe. It really does make a difference to um, how many people see my videos. Um, the more people that the more people that subscribe, the more likely YouTube is to suggest my videos to other people. So um, if you don't already subscribe, I would be really touched if you would consider doing so. Um, Okay, so let's pop this in and so this is the straight punch, obviously. So punch that out. Grab my flirty flamingo and all I'm going to do is on the edge, on one side only, I'm just going to plonk it, technical word, or technical term I suppose. Uh, plonk it into my Versamark and I want it really quite inky that's probably going to be enough uh, you can see we well, you may not be able to have, because I've turned my Versamark pad the right way up for the first time in I don't know how long all the embossing buddy that has collected in the bottom has just come out um, right so Dabble that into our clear embossing powder. And tap that off. And the idea is that you just want the outside uh, with embossing powder. If you get some on the inside, it doesn't matter because it's going to be covered up. So cheese, cheese board back in. Take your pick tool in the middle last. Okay, so just get that. It's going to be quite warm for the moment, um, but will not blow on it. If in doubt, blow on it. Then I'm marrying that up with my white heart. Get This is retired, unfortunately, but get a small hole punch or just your take your pick tool and punch a little hole through both layers. A bit of white baker's twine. And it is really a sort of, you know, sum. Um, no specific length, just sum. And then loop that through and loop. And then with this, which is our stamped piece, one dimensional in the centre. that over the top and then you can attach your tag to your ribbon. So there we go, as simple as that. Oh I know what I haven't done, I know what I haven't done! So I will rectify that because it really is the finishing touch have done that while I was doing the uh, stamping but never mind. Okay that obviously needs a bit of a trim off like that. Okay so the bit I forgot was the gems. Can't miss the gems. They're one of the best bits. So let's 
pop that on there because otherwise I'm going to stab myself. So all I have done is popped a little bit of adhesive on the three circles that are round the heart in the middle and on the original one I chose the red gems but for this one I'm going to choose the pink ones. Now this is really bet much better if you've left your adhesive for a little while um, because then it becomes tacky rather than um, liquid. Oh, that'll be my light going off again. Well, I don't know why it's doing that. Let's tell it not to. And then one teeny weeny one. There. Okay. So there we are. Pop the lid back on there. Get rid of those bits. Bring back in the now taken to pieces one. So there we are. This is the Flirty Flamingo, this is the Real Red, and I've just alternated the colours, but I've kept with the uh, Flirty Flamingo tag. So there you go. Now, do remember, if you want all of the items in the suite, um, you still get the stamp and punch discount, but you can actually order the whole suite just by putting in the one number. I will list that number in the information that I provide both below here and over on my website. So if you did want the whole suite, uh, it just saves time. It doesn't save you any extra money, but it does save time. Uh, you still get the bundle price. So there we go. Thank you very much indeed. As I say, if you do wish to subscribe and help me uh, be visible to more people, I would be thrilled. That's in the bottom right hand corner. If you're in the UK and would like to purchase any products from me, I would be absolutely delighted. It does help me bring videos to you um, and it's a it's just a way of giving back for the free tutorials that I give. Uh, if you're in the UK, France, the Netherlands, Germany or Austria you could also join my team. I do have a team across the UK and in Europe so you would be joining a, a team that's already spread a bit um, and if you've enjoyed the video of course please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much indeed for watching me again today and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.